Hey folks, Frank the Pest Geek. Well, I get, I'm getting calls left and right. We're in the middle of summer. This is August. Probably the driest August we've had in probably 10 years. We're, we're experiencing drought conditions. Um, and I get this call from an existing client. All of a sudden, she's getting American roaches. Now, we had treated the um, German roaches several years ago. She's never had another recurring issue with that. But all of a sudden, she started getting American roaches. You can see around me, look in the back. You can see this is wooded. This is an apartment building that was built in the 70s, okay? And I'm gonna walk through this property real quick and show you what you're gonna see behind me and why they're experiencing American roach problems. So if you look behind me, it's woods. There is a breeding ground for these roaches. Right behind me is the building and one of these is her units. Well, we're looking at it and saying, okay, how could this possibly happen? You can see they've got these porches in the building and all of that wood underneath, there's a lot of cracks. If you look really closely, I don't know if I can able to get in there, there's cracks all along that that lead to a flat roof. And there's many openings in all these windows and doors um, that are old. These doors are 30 years old or more. Um, they're not upgraded windows. They're, the sliding doors are not upgraded. So this is dryness. All this wood around here and they're just basically coming up to the building getting inside. And what happened was the reason she noticed she has American cockroaches inside the structure is because her son started remodeling the condo. He opened up all of the baseboards to remove them because he was going to replace the baseboards. Left gaps this big where there's holes. They're in the air conditioning closet. There's a hole this big. We're going to see it. And basically the roaches are inside the structure and she's lived here for 20 years never had an experience all of a sudden he removed the baseboards they started coming in the secret to sealing uh, and preventing american roaches in the home is to have an airtight home a sealed home in florida if you anything that is above uh an eighth of an inch that's half of a quarter inch they're going to get through and they're going to come out of Exclusion really is, and pest proofing the home, is really the secret to not having American, what people call palmetto roaches. They call them a water bugs. Well, these are American cockroach. We also have a big population of Australian cockroach. So, and they're similar in, in biology and in look. They just have a little different look. But these are the large roaches people find in their home. Let me show you something else. Here is the building. See these cracks? That's big enough for an American cockroach to go through. Doesn't happen overnight. It didn't happen yesterday. This happened over the course of years. And then all of a sudden people are seeing, I'm seeing little roaches, I'm seeing large roaches, I'm seeing them in all sizes. That's because they've been breeding inside the structure. They can come out, get water, go back in. They can live in there. And those are the things that we're looking for when we're doing, see the, see the damage? To the structure see that gap right there i mean that's way over a quarter inch gap right there in the building and this whole building is in this repair and this is what happens when i get calls from people that are renters that are renting an apartment renting a condo renting a house they don't want to invest thousands of dollars in sealing and exclusion to prevent this problem so they have to live with it and this is the problem with miami that it's a it's a rental market 50 percent rental market we're almost half so as you can see folks that the best way the, you know when you have a market like ours that is 50 percent rental i talked to my friends in broward county in west palm beach um all over the the south florida and northern florida and tampa orlando it's just not as prevalent because if you have more homeowners and homeowners are going to take care of their property better than a landlord who is just wanting to get money off the property doesn't want to reinvest back into it and doesn't see the problem he writes it into his contract 
that the tenant is responsible for pest control. So the tenant says, well, I, I come in as a, as a pest control professor. I can't really stop this from happening. I can only treat the symptom, but I can't give you a cure because the cure is ceiling says, yeah, but I'm not going to spend two, three thousand dollars on doing exclusion because this is not my home. The owner of the property says, I'm not going to pay for it. Uh, I'm making just fine. It's not my problem. You got a pest problem. You deal with it. It's in the contract in the leasing agreement that pest control is your business. And therefore, this back and forth and we as pest control professionals get caught in the middle. Let me show you another place how they're getting up there with these lines. Check this out. I mean, I'm, I can find literally, you know, 200 things in 15 minutes that will lead me um, to where the problem is in the structure. There's the cable line for cabling. Well, it's open. This is all open. And roaches are gonna climb up through it. Boom. And wherever this thing leads, inside, whoops, I almost dropped my phone. We don't know how many brakes, holes. We don't know what's behind there. We just know that this is a common problem. Air conditioning conduits. Um, you know, things where they can actually get into the structure. Underneath that drip edge, in the roof there's a huge gap I mean I can see the wood you probably can't see it from here there's probably I don't know if you can see it under there roaches are just climbing in and getting into that roof so if you're in a second story you're gonna experience it so so as you can see you hire a pest control company said I, I want to switch companies because the company isn't giving me the results I want. Another company comes in and starts doing their spraying and doing their thing and you're complaining that you're still seeing roaches. Another one and you'll switch five companies and nobody will tell you that you have to exclude. That it's gonna cost two, three thousand dollars to properly seal up a house because if the windows are 30 years old, the seals are bad. If you don't have any door sweeps or you don't have any thresholds on your doors, they're gonna get in. If you got a bad garage door sealed, they're gonna get into the garage. If the door from the garage isn't sealed, they're gonna get into the house. Um, so you're, you're, you're asking a pest control company to become responsible for that which they don't have care, custody, or control over. I hired you as the pest control company. I expect you to solve it. He can't solve it. The best he can do is put a Band-Aid on it as long as you live in that home, as long as you rent that home, as long as you rent that apartment, as long as you rent that condo, you're going to live with this problem. And it's whose fault is it? Well, if, it, if it's your home and you own it, you're responsible for repairing it. If it's a uh, rental, then if it's an HOA, the HOA is responsible for the outside. HOA doesn't have the funds. They don't see it necessary. It's not their business. They hire a pest control company to treat all the common areas. You can't have pests. That's what they always tell the residents. These, these are all, nobody wants to take responsibility for their pest problem. They put their responsibility on the pest control company and they throw their hands in the air saying, we can't fix this problem. We can't deal with the hygiene issue. We can't deal with all these exclusion issues. Chemical does not solve everything, folks. We are a chemically dependent society. We want to get an instant download. We want to get instant satisfaction. We want to get instant relief. We are dealing with biological and structural issues that are not the responsibility of the pest control professional. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular day.